The MAD and UKDA alongside each other and working together for the benefit of the game also is going to have a great benefit then for the junior game. Well, yeah, but this is what I think um, is a massive opportunity now. And obviously, it's, this has given us all time to think in sort of a, at the landscape of the game. And I think it's a great, very positive step that Madden and UKDA are working together and for opportunities for all the players, uh, a minimal cost. Um, but again, there's a bit of synergy there. Um, what I think what people overlooked at the moment is the fact that the junior game is still in the same mess it was 12 months ago in terms of um, you've got the, obviously the JDC and without sounding big headed, I think over the last 11 years, you are the world leaders in, in junior darts. Um, and obviously but within the UK, we've still got these this North, uh, North England and South England youth setups that, mm. um, from my understanding, didn't really seem to get on or didn't communicate very well and it's a bit fragmented and you see the butt heads for some reason. I didn't, um, and for me, I think it's a time to offer an olive branch to say, listen, you know, we are the, we are the world leaders at, at junior um, development, but we're more than happy to work alongside them in terms of, you know, we're happy to we'll run the academies and, and, the, and the events, but we'll fully support their, their county system. Uh, and uh, get behind that, promote it, and actively sort of try and find players for them, for them, for them to grow at that level. So my suggestion is that, um, as an olive branch, if you like, for the JDC to, to offer a handout and say, listen, we'll back you, we'll support you, we'll work alongside you, and for the benefit of the game, no politics. And uh, mm. you know, one, one youth calendar per year, we can all work together. And I think it's a perfect opportunity, a blank page for us all to, to march forward. Yeah, because... Uh, you... You're going to have it obviously with Mad, and that's some serious contact now with with this new um, structure with the with the UKDA. The other yeah, thing, yeah. yeah, the other the other thing is, um, I could never quite understand being, when I got into the sport how how one county could have a really good youth structure, and then perhaps I don't know half a dozen don't even have a team, and it just seems mm. all as you say very fragmented and. and it just needs one sort of all to come together, I suppose, a little bit like how the, the amateur game is going to go. Well, I mean, just at the, you know, it's, there should be politics in Doris at full stop, let alone at a junior level. So, um, I said, you know, we've always, they've always, always been open as far as I'm concerned. But I think now it's opportunity perhaps to, to be public about it and say, listen, we want to get together, we want to work for the benefit of these kids and yeah. stop sort of denying these kids uh, opportunities. Um, you know, because a lot, a lot of the kids that play in the JDC system are sort of famous before they're famous, if you like. That's so sort of popular. The, 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 the organisations become so. I think um, I don't think kids should suffer anymore, and I think it should be. Um, we should be working together and um, be very clear on on our on where we sit within the sport and support each other really. And uh, like I said, just have one one sort of big uh, organisation moving forward, but um, all in harmony and and for the benefit of these kids. Yeah, so I've got no interest in getting involved on the on the county level or you know yeah. getting involved in selections or rules or whatever. They can still do that. That's absolutely fine. What I'm trying to say is, um, let's just get around the table and have a chat and discuss. You know what we're good at um and, and yeah just identify our strengths really and sort of work together and i think it's like i said it's a massive opportunity and i think we're getting there at senior level um and i think now is the time to get some harmony at, at the at junior level and um, like i said we have got a dedicated team looking after junior darts so mm. it's not a part-time thing for us it's something that we're, we're dedicated and we're passionate about and uh i think it's just um, it'd be a massive shame if after all this good work that was happened in the last sort of two or three weeks that um just stop button is at junior level in the uk yeah, yeah, absolutely, because it forms the the, the, the bedrock of, of amateur sport, doesn't it? The ch the children coming through in any any sport. Um, of course. The, the, the other thing as well, which is interesting, is that, you know, we've conversations the JDC are having internationally. So, you know, in other parts of Europe and the world, there's, there's, there's a, a galvanising of the junior game there. So, as you're right, it would be a little odd if we can't do it in our own nation. <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah, you know, we've, we've had many conversations in the last sort of three or four weeks with um, other organisations in the world that um, want to sort of adapt the JEC system at academy level up to sort of up to the events and qualify, qualification for our world events. I said, you know, they still have the, their England team and stuff, so enough to their, their WDF World Cups and that. I'm not trying to take that away from them. Mm. What I'm trying to say is that we just need to get around the table and sort of really get behind each other and, um, and show some harmony. And on a final note, not only have you been in Germany, you've been in Gibraltar as well recently. Yeah. Give us some news on that. We're, it's all going to plan, ready for us next year if we can get out there. <laughs> yeah, obviously, sadly, we had to cancel our event in November uh, oh. this year. But again, we've, sort of, so we've been over there, looked at some plan Bs and some plan Cs for, for April. So, fingers crossed, we'll be over there in April and enjoying the sunshine and, uh, and uh, raising a few glasses or two. Yeah, great news, mate, um, on all fronts. And I'm sure... Um, from junior level, from amateur adult level, you know, we appreciate your efforts and thank you for keeping keeping those links with Gibraltar and we're 
fingers crossed for the for 2021. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Take care, Steve. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye-bye.